On March 24th, Morgan Stanley revealed that the majority of Bitcoin traded on exchanges in February was only on one exchange. In a research note on Bitcoin's recent rally, MS analysts stated that 81% of BTC traded on exchanges in February was traded on Binance. As a result, Morgan Stanley concludes that Binance traders now set the daily price for Bitcoin. While most investors inquire about Coinbase, they believe that the flows on Binance should be closely monitored in order to understand what is going on in the markets. For context, after Bitcoin rallied 40% in January, the volume of BTC USDT traded on Binance reached 38x that of the equivalent pair on Coinbase relative to being only 4x in early 2020, they explained. Fujitsu, a Japanese technology giant, filed a trademark application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, revealing its intention to offer cryptocurrency brokerage services, among other crypto and non-crypto financial facilities. According to the official document filed on March 16th, Fujitsu's trademark application seeks to register a new mark that consists of the stylized word Fujitsu with a sideways S-shaped swirl over the J and I. The branding is dedicated to providing financial services such as accepting deposits, financing loans, financial management and crypto asset exchange. Bitslato, a digital currency exchange that was seized earlier this year by European authorities, has reopened withdrawals for users. The Hong Kong-based exchange, which has alleged ties to Russian dark web market and scams, announced that users can now withdraw 50% of their funds in BTC. In January, two of Bitslato's founders, Anatoly Lekody Mov and Anton Shukurenko, were arrested along with four other members of their teams. While Shukurenko was detained in Russia and later released, Lekodimov remained detained in the United States following his arrest in Miami. Europol later seized $19 million from the exchange. Despite the crackdown and seizure, Bitslato has announced that users can withdraw 50% of their funds in BTC. While it reportedly held other digital assets at the time it halted withdrawals, the exchange reportedly converted them to BTC to reduce costs associated with maintaining the various wallets. That's all in this bulletin for now. Keep watching 3.2 TV.